What's going on everyone, Kellen Rack here, and today I've got a quick and easy tutorial for you, and I'm gonna show you how to animate with motion blur in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if you've used something like After Effects, you know that there's an easy button you can toggle that turns on motion blur for your animations, but Premiere Pro doesn't have that, and a lot of people have been asking me, how do I get that motion blur look on my animations in Adobe Premiere Pro? So we're gonna go in, I'll show you exactly how to do it, and I'll show you a couple examples that will clarify what exactly we're getting out of this effect. So first I just have a sequence here with a black solid, a black color mat, and we're gonna create two shapes so I can show you what we were doing before and then what we can do to get the motion blur. So first I'm just gonna make a square right here and I'm gonna just duplicate that so I, and drag it down. So I've got a square up top and a square down below and I'll flip these so that they're uh, the top one's on top and the bottom one's down below. Great, so two squares. Now let's start with the top one. What you might typically do to animate is go up to your effects control panel here, your graphics. You might keyframe your position and bring it over. We'll go about three seconds here and just kind of slide your position over. Great, that's simple enough, but there's not really motion blur. See how it's a little bit jittery almost? It's not as smooth as we want it to be. Well, there's no way to turn on motion blur with the vector motion here. So we have to use an effect. So head into your effect panel down here and look up transform. Now you can bring this transform effect onto the bottom shape here. And suddenly we have a whole new set of options. Now what we'll do here before we begin any keyframing is we're gonna turn off our use composition shutter angle and we're gonna put in our own shutter angle. So I'm gonna make this 180. That'll give us a nice motion blur on our animation. Now, rather than using vector motion, we'll keyframe the position within the transform effect. So we'll set our first one here, and we'll go to about three seconds again, and we'll drag this over to the side. Now, watch as these play and see how smooth the bottom one looks. You can see that nice, smooth motion blur there. There actually is a smoothness to it. So, we can also go in and change the way the motion blur looks if we change our shutter angle. So if we set this to zero, well, these two animations will look exactly the same, no motion blur at all. If we set this to 300, we'll have even more motion blur. So you actually don't just turn on motion blur for your animations, you can adjust the shutter angle and how much motion blur is occurring. So that's it, the tutorial is as simple as that. If you wanna animate with motion blur as you do in After Effects, well, you can do it in Premiere Pro using the transform effect and then adjusting the shutter angle. That's it. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back with a whole bunch more. Thanks for watching.